depression regimes or famines uh, or mass epidemics. Uh, tragedies brought us to this. So we tend to be very grounded in our past. I think trees, and well, probably why the maple tree was chosen as our national symbol, because for people who are an immigrant culture, that's a very powerful symbol. Often, the part of the tree we think of least or see least when we're looking at trees are the root systems. Uh, we don't see them, and they're much like our past. Uh, our roots tell us who we are. They, they're often the things, that sometimes, that we don't want other people to know, or they're things that sometimes are complicated and a difficult part of our own personal journeys and stories. But, but all, our entire life uh, is built on those roots. Um, and if we live as Canadians, we want to cherish and value those roots, but we also want to celebrate what happens here. And that's sort of the story of what happens above ground. When we, the trees gather uh, from soil and gather uh, from the lives of people who have come so far uh, and explode above the surface into the sunshine. Uh, they collect light. Uh, they are a visible, living, powerful, renewing symbol. Uh, they also uh, disappear in the wintertime uh, and come back as a miracle every spring, uh, reminding us that uh, for everything we lose in life, uh, it is always regained and regained in the, in the new year, stronger and larger and bigger and more hopeful and more powerful than what it was. Um, and it tells us that we can live here fully, unapologetically, fully as Canadians. Um, and every year we can renew ourselves as Canadians, but we should always be proud, in this case, of our Tamil roots and where we come from. And remember, that's what we, that everything that we have in, in this land, in this new country that is very much ours, uh, no less yours than it is mine, uh, equally all of ours, but, but it is those roots in, in that very rich and new soil. That, that soil is very foreign to us. Uh, at first it becomes home to us and we, we contribute to that. So I think when we're looking at the horrible genocide that happened on May 18th on the Red Cow, um, where 40,000 people in Sri Lanka, 40,000 Tamils were told that these lands were safe, this was safe haven, and were carpet bombed and killed. It is one of the, the most significant genocides in modern history. It is one of the ones <coughs> that already people have tried to erase and people that were involved in it in, in, in have tried to hide it and tried to make those lives go away. Um, today we're celebrating Black July where 3,000 Tamils were killed in riots. Uh, their businesses burned and their homes ruined. These, this is not an uncommon experience. Uh, you can name any group of people. Uh, when the Ocean Lady arrived, I think, uh, full of Tamils uh, escaping uh, their lives. I think it reminded us when the St. Louis arrived, full of Jews escaping Nazi oppression and the Holocaust. Uh, remind us of when the Sikhs and Punjabis arrived in 1911 trying to escape the attacks on the, on the Sikh community, on the Sikh, the Sikh faith, people were escaping uh, to come to this country because of attacks on who they were and the lack of that. So it's the pluralism of our society, I think, that's important, the, the diversity of our forests. We all live and coexist. As a matter of fact, we need that diversity. That diversity is important to our survival, to our resilience, and to our strength. So I think trees are very, very powerful. Uh, very powerful symbols of that. Uh, and our ravine system is something that is unique. And, and this space is really a special place for me. And we made a commitment to each other that we would plant trees for every single person whose lives we've lost. And we would never allow any of the people who perpetuated these horrible crimes to ever get away with it, to ever be allowed to forget. And what a more beautiful way to remember something that rather than with a dead stone or something that is an inanimate object, but to remember every living life of something that is alive and that renews itself, that will get bigger and stronger and more visible the more we nurture it. And if you can imagine a, for a forest of over 40,000 or 70,000 trees here, uh, that's an extraordinary living gift to the people of Canada. It's a very strong statement about the roots of how Canadian Tamils are. At the same time, it's also a powerful symbol that there are 40,000 root systems that remind us of a very special little and very blessed little island in the world that has given birth to such a great civilization and to such great culture that we want to cherish. And the fact that trees live on sunlight, they live off the same sun that's shining tomorrow morning in, uh, in Sri Lanka. Every time those trees, that sun passes over the trees, you're about to take a little burst of oxygen and Tamil energy back there, which can only do that country some good right now. So I'd just like to read the plaque. This plaque will be the first plaque of, I hope, what will eventually be 40,000 little monikers and memories of people. I'd just like to read what it says. It says, in memory of Black July 1983, 
to mull the thy cow. Yes, I, I, I just destroyed the Tamil language. <laughs> Um, on May 18, 2009, erected July 23, 2011, uh, by myself, commemorating the Tamil lives lost in the pursuit of justice and freedom. Like the ravine system that weaves through and connects the communities of Toronto, the principles of truth and justice weave through the hearts and minds of those who fight for the preservation of human rights. And I think Jeff, having told you the story of how this is all about how we connect people and nature and city building, this is the place where Canadian cities are born that uh, given Tamils are not, are not just great city builders, but great farmers and great stewards of the land. We hope that this way, putting this plaque down will bring many feet down here from the Tamil community to help enrich the project. And this is, uh, this is a very special place here dedicated to living within harmony and within